Hi, this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com and today we're working with the RFM 69CW wireless transceiver. Now this is a pair of transceivers you see here. They run at 433 megahertz and we'll be using them for some Arduino wireless projects. The issue that we have run across is the non-standard pin spacing. I'll try to show the number of pins here as best I can, but there are seven pins on each side of this module, and if you line them up with a breadboard, you'll notice that they cover six pin spacings on the board. And it's really hard for this camera to get in really close and focus on this, but I'm hoping you can see this. So it's not a one-for-one one pin spacing. So what we've done here is we've put a pin with the plastic spacer at each corner of the board. And we lay the board on top and we solder those pins and then we insert bare pins in the next two holes from each corner inward and we kind of bend them a little bit so that they fit into the uh, breadboard and solder them and that leaves the center hole on each side with no place to go so then we solder a jumper wire one on each side to be plugged into the breadboard at another location so I'll try to show this and on this one here we did it with chip up but this one we're going to do with the chip facing underneath and the reason for that is so that we can get the pin labeling on top where it can be seen so we're going to go ahead and drop these on those corners and I will go ahead and solder those four points and then I will start sliding the additional pins in and solder them and I will show them in the next scene. Now I've soldered those four corner pins and I'm getting ready to insert the pins inward of those corners. So I've got one pin here in my pliers. I'm going to drop it down and I'm going to push it down until I get to the height that I want. I'll grab another one here. Do hold on to them. And then I'm going to skip that next hole in the board and do the end two holes. So now you can see that the end one's in, the next two on each end are in to the respective holes in the breadboard and we've left the center hole free on the transceiver for the wire which we will stick up from underneath and solder into place. And then you just do the same thing on the other side. And this way you've got a nice sturdy way to mount your board I did want to make one mention here about soldering technique. Um, I do have a temperature controlled soldering iron here. It's got a very fine tip on it. And we also want a very fine solder. Not a really thick solder. And when you are soldering these, you want to come in from the end and put the tip up against the pin and that way you don't get solder jumpers to the next pad because these pads are very very close together so a fine tip fine solder and approach the pads from the ends and heat the pin as well as the pad before you put the solder on there and make sure that it flows really well and you don't get big solder gobs keep your tip of your soldering iron clean. So there's your soldering tip of the day. 
we'll be posting code and additional instructions at arduinotronics.blogspot.com in order to show how these transceivers are used and how data is transferred back and forth. But I just wanted to be able to show a fairly simple way to get these things mounted and usable without having a whole bunch of wires hanging off the boards. Thank you.